Lesson 30 Year End Process In this chapter, we'll discuss about year end process that will include year end entries and changing of financial year. Year end entries basically refers to entries that are entered only at the end of the financial year. In India, generally a financial year from 1st April to 31st March is followed. So on 31st March or around a need arise to enter all the year end entries and change the financial year to new financial year. In this chapter, we'll discuss how we can change the financial year and how we can enter the year end entries. Year end entries Entries will include depreciation charge on fixed asset, interest paid on loan taken from bank, profit loss transfer to partner's capital account, and GST payable for the last month of the year. Basically, GST of the last month that is March is generally paid in the month of April. So, how this entry can be reflected in Busy? First of all, we'll discuss the how we can enter that entry for depreciation in Busy. For this, we'll go to Transactions Journal Add option. Here, we'll enter the voucher series date. GST nature will select as not applicable non GST, and then we'll debit the depreciation depreciation account and credit the Maruti van account. Here we are assuming that Maruti van worth rupees 2 lakh on which 15% depreciation is charged is being used for office purpose so depreciation entry we have maintained for car account. Next we will enter a voucher for interest on loan taken from bank. For this again we will enter a journal voucher. We will debit the interest on loan account and credit the bank loan account. Here we have taken the account as HDFC loan account and we will click the save button to save the journal voucher. Next, we will be entering an entry for profit or loss transfer to partner's capital account. For this, again, we will be entering a journal voucher. We will specify the GST nature is not applicable non-GST. Here, we are debiting the profit and loss account and crediting the partner's capital account. Here, we have created two capital accounts, Piyush and Rupesh. That is, these are our two partners to which we have divided the profit Next, we will discuss how we can make an entry for the GST paid for the last month of the year. For this, we will be using journal voucher. We will take the GST nature as GST payment to government. We are debiting the CGST output and SGST output account. If there is an entry for IGST, you can debit the IGST output account also and will credit the GST payable account. This account we will be creating using the account master option. We will create this account under the head current liability. So, we are crediting the GST payable account and will save the voucher. Voucher. On saving the voucher, a GST payment details window will appear. We will currently leave this window as blank as we do not have any payment details right now. Its payment is not yet made. Now we will change the financial year. Although we will discuss in detail the concept of changing financial year in the later part of this presentation, but here we are changing the financial year by going to administration change financial year option and selecting the financial year from 1st April 2018 option. You can see on the screen financial year has been changed. Now we'll go to transactions payment add option. We'll enter a payment voucher where we'll select the GST nature as non GST, no, GST not applicable. Here we'll debit the GST payable account and credit our bank account. So we'll debit the GST payable account and here we are crediting the HDFC bank account. Now we will again switch back to the previous financial year by using the administration change financial year option. You can see on the screen we are in the previous financial year. In this financial year, we'll open the journal voucher. We have entered for the GST payable account in the modify mode. Here on saving the voucher, you can see a GST payment details window is appearing in which you will enter all the required payment related details like chalan number, check number, date, bank name, bank code, interest, penalty if any and click the save button to save the voucher. Now we will be discussing the changing financial year option. To change the financial year option, you can go to administration change financial year option and select the required financial year. Next, if you want to change only the financial year and do not want to carry forward the balances, then you can enable the option create new year only don't carry balances. This option is helpful if you want to create financial year immediately without any, any delay and want to start working in the new financial year. As changing financial year with balances or carrying forward masters takes some time. If you have the required time, you can in disable this option and change the financial year with carrying forward balances also. You can see on the screen we have switched to the new financial year and similarly if you wish to go back to previous financial year at any time then you can again use the administration change financial year option and select the required financial year in which you want to go back. So this is our chapter on year end process in which we have included year end entries and changing financial year. At the end of the chapter we have provided certain exercise. You can view the exercise on screen and attempt it. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.